hello guys and welcome back to the channel today we are diving into how to use notebook lm by google a groundbreaking tool designed to supercharge how you organize explore and make sense of your notes and in some cases you can be able to move from one note that you've summarized to another and sometimes you can even create a podcast directly from this particular tool so whether you are a student a researcher or just someone who loves keeping things neat and appropriate notebook lm is here to revolutionize your workflow with its ai powered features so join me as i walk you through how to use notebook lm or uncover its smartest tricks and show you how it turns your notes uh, into an interactive and very intelligent workspace so let's get started and come to google and just go ahead and search for notebook lms just like so and hit on enter and you can see it here the first guy note taking a research assistant you can just click on it and we brought in over to this very platform so one thing you can do is you can just go ahead and say try notebook lm and it's going to bring you over to this very uh, clear platform now these are things i've worked on on my own in the notebook lm i've tried some things and you can just go ahead and create start creating content or start adding sources that you can always um work with together now let's look at this there's different things you can add here you can add sources from google drive maybe it could be google docs uh, google slides um, then you can have links like websites blog posts or even youtube videos you can add them directly and then you can copy text directly from somewhere and just paste in so you can just have a com direct conversations with those um, sources that you've added so let's start by adding some, some something very simple like um, let's talk about adding some uh, docs okay so let's click on this but of course you have to connect it with your google account so let's say in this particular account i have some documents related to dams okay so you can just search and i can just select this one um uh, dams yeah okay dams and probably speedways let me just select this too and then i can just click on insert and now i have two sources you can see them by the left okay so one thing you should know is that you can as you bring in the sources it is directly going to read about the sources and give you some kind of a general summary about what the, those sources that you've added are and you can see this one just directly tells us that uh, the provided text outlines a comprehensive course on dams covering their history applications and even engineering principles and that's very correct so you can save to note if you're interested or you can copy this and just take it somewhere but then you can go ahead and have audio overview of this or you can directly on your own come down here and start asking questions related to this source but zoom in this is not the only source i want to use for this scenario i want to add more sources you can just come over here to the top left and click on add more sources and then probably i have a um a website link that i want to add so let me just go ahead and paste it so I have this website link, which is a blog post. I can just go ahead, paste the link and just click on insert. And it's going to bring in that also as part of my sources. It's going to be added in the in the summary that of what you've seen here. So any question that I'm going to ask from here is going to still check and access my answers from all of these. Okay, so you can see right now we have three sources. I can add more and go ahead and add more. Uh, let's say i have this youtube video that talks about the how, the hoover dam okay uh, all the secrets of the engineering wonder of this dam and i copy the link from here for example you can just rush down back to um uh, the book lm and i can just go ahead and see i have a youtube text youtube url and paste it and then you can see insert from here directly and now this one also is going to be added okay for this one it says the transcript not available okay so let's say this um let's add another source and come to youtube and then we can just paste in this one and we can go ahead and add it it's been added also so we have now in total four sources now you can see over here once you come down here you can go ahead and say what are the primary societal benefits or risks of dam construction or you can check out others from here uh, what design and safety considerations are crucial for dam longevity so these are just basic things so I can, on my own i can say um can you tell me can you tell can you summarize this the concept of dam design and construction be specific 
about the type of them and its um and their advantages okay so this is so generic i can just go ahead and hit and enter and within some seconds it's going to browse through some of these sources and it's going to give us a complete overview of what we've just asked and you can see right now dams are structures designed to control the flow of water prevent flooding and manage water resources efficiently now the most important part of this um this search or this conversation is that it brings in these sources you can see right now when you click on any of the sources it's going to show you directly where it has picked it from like this one now it picked it from this blog post okay that we've just added and you can be able to see that it this is where exactly it has picked the definition it has added you can click on tree and you can see it is still within this this particular document uh this particular source you can click on four you can see the source that it has picked it from okay you can just go ahead and keep clicking and it's going to show you exactly where it has picked all that from okay so it's very very direct you can see this one also it picked it from those documents the docs to our files that i've added you can see this is the uh, location and dam types that we have there um, so what it it has said here this is these are the sources so very easily you'll be able to see it utilizes the source to interact with it directly and you can be able to say yeah this is where i'm getting my information and this is where i can always fall back to so it's a very cool feature that everyone can use everyone can interact with and you have your fantastic document generated so another thing is you have uh, other suggestions you can save this to your notes if you have a specific note for example i can say save this to my note and it has added it on damp and damp design and construction this is the notes that i have and if you like you can delete the note also at any given point so let me say can you summarize can you summarize the history of over dam okay so let's see whether it can uh, give us something like that all right, so you can see directly, it just goes uh, on to tell us about the Hoover Dam, initially known as the Boulder Dam, stands as a testament to American engineering prowess, um, playing a pivotal role in the development of the Southwest. In the late 19th century, developers and farmers sought to harness the Colorado River for irrigation, but their efforts proved unsuccessful. But 1922 was when the idea kick started. Okay, so this is very detailed things about it. If you notice, the source to this is always um, on that particular video that we have, um, the YouTube video that we've added. And you can see right now, it picked this from that particular video because it has a transcript. Okay, so these are some things you can do and you can always fall back and come back to the main source and see um, what you have within. You can copy this and add it to your note as well. Save to note. Okay, you can see um, Hoover Dam engineering marvel uh, uh marvel of the century or something so this is another note that you've added so you can always go back and see what and what and how far you've you've gone but then before we go into this and you can always copy and you can uh, it's a good response or bad response or you can regenerate this also at any given point if you're interested now another most important thing to look at or to note as regards this um notebook lm is that you can be able to create a podcast of any topic of your choosing podcast between two people or conversations between two people you can be able to on your own directly uh, generate the podcasts and you have them conversate together so let's say for this i want to go ahead and generate you can go ahead and generate the podcast from here at the top right can say generate and it's going to go directly but if you have a specific need or a specific target within the sources that you want to generate the podcast about you can see customize and now over here you can see things to focus what should the ai host focus on um discuss the basics of dams um criteria for for construction stability criteria advantages and disadvantages of dams okay so you can just be specific on all of this and i can just go ahead and say generate this is going to take some time okay this may take some few minutes 
So no need to stick around. You can just go ahead and continue with other things while it generates the uh, the video. Okay. You can always collapse the chat and you can see this is the uh, studio area where you have your notes. You can add the notes. You can check the study guide. You can add some FAQs about the, the document that you have um, created or you can have the briefing doc or the timeline. You can create all of these from the sources that you've provided. So let's go back. So you can always rename your project. For example, this one, I can see spillway and dam engineering. And if you don't want it to be this uh, and dam principle, for example, principles. Okay, so you've always, you can see you've saved all of these directly. All right, so you can go back to the main notebook LM from here. And you can see this is the one, the note that I have just created and we're working on the spillway and dam principles. And you click on it, you'll be able to see um, what you have. You can always click here to delete or to edit a title um, because this one, we've already have a title for it. So the ones that you don't have a title, you can always create a title for them. And you can always click and you come back to where you started. Okay. So another thing that's cool with this notebook LM is that you can decide to specify which of the sources you directly want to conversate with. Assuming I'm trying to create another conversation uh, and I don't want to, to include this source or this source, and I can just go ahead and select any of them and just deselect any. I wanted to focus on only these two sources. I can just go ahead. What is the disadvantage? of of concrete dam all right so let's see and it's going to make its own search it's just from these two sources that we've had uh, instead of um, these four sources and you can see it directly specifying that the sources that you have are just two and that's the one that is going to use for this. And you can see right now it utilizes only the two sources and you can click to have the sources directly uh, defined where it picked it from. Okay, so this is the first source, this is the second source. So it's very, very easy and it's very direct. So just go ahead and click to uh, explore and see how you can make use of this to see how you can use it to your own advantage. So let's give you some seconds to finish with the podcast so we can all listen to what it has for us as regards the podcast and how we can make uh, use of it. All right, so right now we can see that the um, podcast is ready and we can play to have a preview of it. Welcome to another deep dive, everyone. This time, we're going to be talking about dams and spillways. Oh, cool. Yeah, we've got a ton of great sources for this one. Academic papers, engineering guides, and even a historical look at the Hoover Dam. Uh-huh. Our mission today, we're going to explore how dams work, how they impact our lives, the crazy engineering behind them, and even some of the challenges they can cause. Okay, sounds good. It's interesting because when you think about it, dams, they're not just walls holding back water, right? Right. They're really intricate systems, actually, and they have a history that goes way back. Like, even ancient civilizations were building dams. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty amazing when you think about the ingenuity it took for them to, like, develop as early irrigation systems, they were harnessing water for their needs. Mm -hmm. And today's dams are like, they're super sophisticated descendants. Yeah. Like, they're marvels of engineering on a huge scale. You know, speaking of marvels, we got this really cool image sent in of a dam with its spillway gates wide open, releasing a ton of water. Oh, wow. It really makes you realize the power we're dealing with here. Yeah. So let's start with the basics. Okay. What exactly are dams and spillways? Like, how would you define them? Well, basically, a dam is like a barrier built across a river or a stream to create what's called a reservoir. Okay. That, that's fantastic. So you can see this is the wonders of Notebook LM. So you can be able to generate this kind of podcast and you can uh, download and share, share with your followers on your own. So just go ahead, explore the Notebook LM, just sign up with your free Google account and see how you can use it to your own advantage. Okay, so I think this concludes this tutorial. Um, and additionally, you can just come over here and click to download this particular podcast that you've created. 
and you can change the speed as well the playback speed up to 2.0 if that is what you are interested um so so this concludes this tutorial about the basic use of uh, notebook lm for beginners hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye